Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. This video comes about because of this top tank here. As I mentioned in Sunday's vlog, I'm gradually in the process of getting that all cleaned out so I can put in the angelfish and uh, guppies for growing out. And as you can see in the tank to the right, that is the Java Moss bog filter. I've been putting a couple of culls in there. Uh, what else is I going to move out into client's tanks and it's just easier to catch them in there? Uh, so I'm going to take all the fish in the top tank and I'm going to put them into uh, these two tanks in the middle. I don't use the bottom one anymore. So the, the one in the, that one there is going to be used for Johannai. This one's going to have OB peacocks and I'm also going to keep in uh, the Borlerai that are in there. I have a pair that I've kept back and hopefully they'll breed and I'll uh, raise a few more of those. I am in the, still in the process of uh, weaning this down a little bit. There's still too many of them. Uh, I do want to get two uh, breeding groups, but I don't need this many fish. Uh, anyone who's bred Africans know they breed quite well and prolifically, so uh, that isn't a problem. One of the things that's going to change is I'm finally getting rid of the five-stage airlift. It is a great filter, but it takes up way too much space in that tank. And I want to convert the top of this tank to look a lot more like uh, the other tanks we've been seeing that are on uh, the other side of the fish room that I'm going to pan over to here now. I want to have a few more plants growing in them like this and, uh, you know, try and also, I think, set up another bog filter in that. Now, part of the reason for this video again is this. This is what the top tray of the five-stage air look, looked like. If you remember from when I put these together and also did the updates for them, I have not cleaned this since I installed it, and it has an awful lot of Java moss growing in it. And I suspect that's part of the reason why the water chemistry for that big 7-foot tank has stayed so nice. All that's running on that tank for filtration is the 5-stage airlift and also that uh, box filter that's in there. And that tank is clear and clean and uh, haven't had any issues whatsoever. And currently the fish load that you see in there is about two-thirds of what was normally in it uh, to begin with. So when those fish, these four fish plus the big plecos went in, uh, the plecos actually went in about two weeks ago, uh, I figured uh, this will stress out the filter and we'll see how well it can do. So it's, like I said, it's been over there a little over a week and I've been feeding them well and the normal biomass for a 15-gallon uh, tank from the ones we've already seen in my other uh, tanks in the fish room is a lot lower than that because these fish are large and, well, obviously they have much more metabolism than a bunch of small fish. So this is the ammonia test. It is just uh, readable. You can see it's around 0.25, maybe uh, a shade more. And I said, well, that's actually not too bad. And I suspect as the Java moss grows, and now I've also put in some pearl weed, uh, that that will actually drop off to uh, nothing with uh, that amount of fish in it. Now they're only gonna be in there until uh, Sunday where I'm gonna pull them out and then I'm gonna put other fish in instead. Uh, but I will do another water test on this, and I'll do an update for it on Sunday's vlog so we can show you uh, how well it does. Now, the thing that surprised me the most about this is the nitrate test. The nitrate is practically unreadable. Now, you can see it uh, looks like there's a little bit of color there. That's only because of the surrounding colors. It seems to be refracting into uh, the actual cylinder itself. But when you look at it straight down with the naked eye, you can't see any color at all. Now I held it up to the light to have a look at it to see if uh, there was a little bit of color there. And if you hold it uh, sideways, which is not the reading way that you're supposed to take this, uh, there is a hint of color. So that means there is some nitrate there, but it is hardly measurable at all. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to switch over to another uh, still of it uh, when I put it over towards uh, the wood that you see there. And it looks crystal clear at that point. So. That is actually really kind of impressive. Uh, those fish are obviously eating and pooping and doing all their uh, normal stuff, and there is no measurable nitrate. And the ammonia is, uh, it's there, uh, but it's not significant enough to actually cause the fish any kind of distress. It is definitely in that first bracket of color. So it is uh, interesting, and I suspect in time it will uh, actually not even uh, register any ammonia at all, but we'll see that on Sunday. We'll see if it can manage to grow and uh, evolve sufficiently by Sunday for it to be gone. So this is, uh, like I said, over uh, the wood instead of the uh, colored uh, squares there, and you can see there's, there's nothing in that at all. It's nice and crystal clear. 
And that is quite impressive. I'm actually really happy about how uh, this bog filter is working out. And I definitely want to uh, do a lot more work with these. Uh, not necessarily just the Alba Moss, but that big seven foot tank, uh, like I said, it cleared out the five stage airlift and that uh, frees up four uh, good airlines. And I want to uh, run at least one bog filter in there. And also I want, of course, to, uh, as I mentioned, when I did the pan across the other side of the fish room, I want to put a lot more plants up in there. So I'm going to take the old rainforest stands that I had, the uh, ones uh, that one that I modified for uh, putting in, um, trying to do aquaponics, that's too short for that. But I think those other plants that I have there will work quite well this way. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I am going to set up a few of those. I should probably quite a few of those. And then, of course, I'm going to have uh, a lot of trays in there for um, various kinds of plants, like uh, not not necessarily hornwort, I don't think, but I think we'll have, obviously, some java moss, uh, java fern, and I also want to spread out a bunch of the other plants that I had in the plant growing experiment because I want to uh, get those growing uh, more as well. And that's a nice, wide, large aquarium. So there's plenty of room in there for pretty much everything. The other, of course, the other main important thing is to leave room for uh, the angelfish to grow up, and I also want to grow uh, a bunch of guppies up there. So that is the plans for that tank, and it is underway, and on Sunday I'll definitely do an update for that. So I'm going to do a few more clips here to show you the progress on this, and then one other little side thing about this as, uh, as I was proceeding through this uh, that kind of caught my interest. So there you go, all uh, the cichlids have been divided up, the hand eye are in the bottom one, and the OB zebras are in the middle, and uh, I am still going to call them out. There's a few more there that I didn't uh, like the looks of for breeding purposes, uh, but I don't really want to put too many more fish in uh, that Java Moss bog filter. I put one more in there, uh, simply because it was definitely a cull I wanted to get rid of. All of this here, this is all the java moss and java fern that was in one 15 gallon aquarium. I am in the process of cleaning one out because I want to get it ready for uh, the rainbow fish that are growing out, the fry. Uh, so I had to pull it out and I was just shocked by how much was actually in there. All that was in one aquarium. So uh, this is not all staying in here. I am going to divide this up a bit more. Some of it is going to go back into uh, that other aquarium. And then, of course, I have more aquariums to divide this stuff into. So there's plenty of room. So what I'm doing here is I pulled all those plants out on the tank on the right. And I drained it down quite a bit. And now I'm just using a siphon here just to equalize the water. Because I, the tank to the left of this is the one that has the, uh, the adults for the fry. And I've been using that water with the fry. So I want to keep it as even as possible. And I'm showing you this clip here because... This actually uh, kind of surprised me that the under gravel lift to the high humidity planter filter was six inches down and it was still running, which is really impressive. So all the filtrations out of this now, except for the box filter, but as you can see, uh, it does a good job. It's uh, clearing it up. This is only about an hour later. And what I did now, just as a test, uh, these are, as you can see, extremely tiny still. But they got good bellies on them, and these are, I put about a half a dozen of the uh, fry in here just to uh, make sure that they're big enough that they can find food. And even though the current in here is not that strong, you can see the little guys are having a little bit of difficulty with it. So I want to make sure that they're big enough to go in here, and I want to get them out of that bin, because this is obviously a much more stable environment for them, not just uh, sitting in a bin on uh, my desk. So give me one last clip here. I put some guppies in to uh, test the tank out to make sure it's doing fine. And I'm going to let them uh, run around in here. And I'm definitely going to call a lot of these out and they're going to go to clients. Uh, but it's a nice big space for them. Nice seven feet. Uh, they will grow really well in here. And this is again like about another hour, uh, hour and a half later after uh, the last clip. So it's clearing up quite nicely. So thank you very much for watching. Leave comments below. Let me know what you think of this. And let me know what you want to uh, think of the Java Moss bog filter because that is actually really impressive. And there's going to be many more experiments uh, with that and also uh, the other ammonia filter tests are coming up as well. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.